This is an interesting story. So this is a, let's do this one. Chance the Rapper's former manager sues him for and brutally roasts a big day. So this is from Vulture. This is the following. Chance the Rapper is facing a lawsuit by his former manager over the release of his last album, The Big Day. Uh, Pat Cochran, who was instrumental in Chance's ability to find a breakout success as an independent rapper star in 2012, filed a suit in Illinois this week alleging that Chance, real name um, Chancellor Bennett, uh, broke an oral agreement between the two and owes over $3 million in missed commissions, according to the courthouse news. Chance fired Cochran in April, replacing him with his father, Ken Bennett, and rapper brother, Taylor Bennett. Cochran now claims that the breach of contract and the violation of the Illinois State Sales representative act among other counts stemming from the chances refusal to continue their alleged year-long agreement to pay Cochrane 15 percent of profits including uh for an industry standard three years after his firing Cochrane further claims chances father has only offered him to lump sum of 350,000. the interactions related to the payments have been contentious representative for chance rapper have not responded to vulture's request or comment in the lawsuit, Cochrane traces problems of his relationship with Chance to February 2012 when the rapper announced that his debut studio album, The Big Day, would come out in July without consulting Cochrane. It was likely, so he said, it was likely there was not enough time for the uh, creative process involved in releasing the album. The suit claims, citing Chance's March wedding, Cochrane implies Chance's announced the album before the recording of the writing process even began, madness, and goes on to knock the unproductive and undisciplined studio sessions that followed, procrastination and lack of discipline effort perpetuated by various hangers-on and uninterested in the hard work of writing and recording resulted in a freestyle driven product subpar quality the suit goes on to claim calling the album a complete deviation from the meticulous writing process that brought bennett fame for his wordplay and wit crocken cites the album's tepid critical reception and the fact uh, and the quick fade from the charts as a hurt in both charts chances and his own reputations along with not creating enough hype for a subsequently planned arena tour after Cochrane cons- um, recommended chance cancel the tour the rapper instead first postponed it then ultimately never rescheduled it bennett ultimately blamed Cochrane for the judgment rendered by his fan base rather than accept his own lack of dedication that doomed the project of filing claims which is mad isn't it and this sort of filing or this sort of claim or this suit regardless if it's true or not it does give you a little bit of an insight into why somebody like a chance rapper is so infatuated with Kanye West you get it a lot when he appears on sometimes a Joe Biden podcast and he kind of gets a call and they sort of ask him to chime in on Kanye and he just never ever ever has a bad thing to say about him he's always bending over backwards to make excuses for Kanye's actions even the most deplorable ones and it does make you believe especially at the time of hold on Chance is an actual decent it seems like appearing guy in public so why would he be so forgiving of um, Kanye's inability to just be a nice guy sometimes right and it goes to show the reason why is because Chance behind closed doors is the same person as Kanye they are the same person that's why Chance kind of relates to him to some level because for him to decide to go against his manager's advice concerning the big day especially when you know it's not playing armchair quarterback now but even at the time when the album actually came out I'm glad that we know now that we weren't going crazy when we heard it you know fans of Chance as I am myself right? I'm a big fan about acid rap and what he's done in between the start in between stages of course he's a massive corny cheese dog but I like him for that i love that he's kind of the only rapper doing what he does in that sort of style you know having a christian background being family orientated i love that about him actually but the big day just wasn't what it kind of in set out to be it didn't have the artistic depth and range of any of his previous work and it just wasn't interesting um to listen to um and it quite quickly you know fell out of favor with a lot of the chance rappers fan base and um that tour that he announced was very embarrassing too the lack of ticket sales that kind of got leaked out then he ultimately just didn't talk about it anymore like most big stars do when things don't go or they just don't rip those don't talk about it anymore and we never really got that rescheduled tour again and now we know why right because the album wasn't really well received and the tickets just weren't selling no one went to see him perform that album in full in any meaningful way um but yeah man like just imagine treating somebody that kind of helped to kind of cultivate your entire image over you know this span of your entire career in this manner and thinking that it would kind of go unnoticed like that's the kind of shitty part about and again you're hoping that they kind of reach an amicable resolution but if there was an oral agreement that took place which is as binding as a actual bit of paper 
you're, you, what you're assuming is going to happen is that he's probably going to have to settle for a lot of money regardless. It's going to be definitely going to be more than 300000 that his dad offered. He's definitely going to have to pay a substantial amount just to keep this story out of the headlines because if anything, of what we know about Kanye and what we know about Chance, they like to control the narrative. They want people to kind of view them in a certain light. So he's definitely going to take a, a cue out of Kanye West's book and just make sure that he kind of, um, you know, buries his story under litigation, under NDAs, pays the manager off and just keeps it moving. But Jesus, I was surprised by this, man. Like, this is definitely a revelation. This is, this is like being told someone like The Rock is a shitty human being, right? You wouldn't believe it, right? Because you just believe what you see on, on TV, um, on YouTube, on movies and stuff. You would never believe he's a bad human. I guess that's a similar sort of vein happening with Chance the Rapper. But again, who knows? Maybe we are all overreacting. We do not know.